Here with running backs coach Wayne Moses, uh, who begins his first year at uh, UH. Uh, coach, you know, Joey Osefa was such a focal part of the offense uh, last year. How much of a workload uh, is he expected to, to carry this season? Um, we're expecting to pick up right where he left off. Um, he's had a great camp up until this point. He's healthy, and um, uh, we're just looking for him to really just kind of take over and, and move this thing forward. You know, he's kind of he's kind of the, the the strength of our offense, and we want to utilize him. Is there any worry about wearing him down? I mean, he was carrying the ball 30 or 35 times mm -hmm. uh, a game last year. Yeah. The end. Well, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll have some guys to be able to come in and, and spell him and, and do those kind of things. It's going to take more guys just other than Joey, but the facts of the matter are he's our guy. Uh, we think we got some other uh, talented running backs as well, uh, Stephen Laka Laka and, and both Diosomy St. Just. Both those guys are going to have to come in and, and be able to, to, to help us as well. Uh, we had a new kid, uh, Dominic Small, uh, that just kind of got in from junior college this year. and. So we're looking forward to, to those guys kind of collectively coming in and, and showing us what they can do and being a compliment uh, to Joey as well as, as, as sometimes they'll have to go in and, and be players themselves and, and kind of carry, carry some of the load as well. So, uh, but collectively, I think we've got a good group. What makes, uh, going back to Joey, what makes him such an effective runner? What, would, what were your first impressions of him? When you uh, it's got great instincts. Uh, uh, we have to get him down a little bit more, uh, running behind his pad, so he can, you know, be able to use some of that size, use more of that size, I should say, and and get more yards. Believe it or not, get more yards after contact than he can, because he's a big physical guy. And uh, but I think he can wear those guys down more than they can wear him down if we can keep him fresh and keep him in in, in good situations to where uh, 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 the ball is in his hands and he's you know, in his comfort zone. And, and, uh, and that's us co as coaches knowing where, where he can get the ball at and, and, and be effective. You mentioned Stephen Lakalaka -Laka and mm -hmm. the Austin St. Just earlier. Mm -hmm. They gained a lot of playing time when Joey was injured last year. Mm -hmm. How's your development been going into year two? Uh, Stephen's been, been great. Uh, he's solid. Uh, he's really starting to be a lot more patient with his runs. You know, uh, in the spring, he was just kind of quick and those kind of things, a little, little too fast, not using his blockers. He's really starting to feel those things now a little bit, timing up his, uh, uh, his, his and using his blockers and, and being patient. And so I'm real excited about uh, about where he's going and where, what he's done in camp so far. And, and uh, Diasomi, you know, we have to get him out a little bit. He tweaked his ankle right at the start of camp a little bit and uh, uh, expecting him back any day now. So we need to get him back and get him back in the fold a little bit and, and, and get his timing back and, and, and get him working with his line and, and those type things. What can you tell us about the other running backs in the stable? We got, uh, you mentioned Dominic Swan and also there's mm -hmm. uh, Jason Morocco. Uh, Dominic's doing well. Uh, you know, typical JC, uh, Running back, you know, transfers, just kind of got in. Very new, uh, you know, just starting to kind of feel the scheme a little bit. And, and be quite honest with you, you know, we, we had to bring his conditioning along a little bit, you know, because he was so late getting here. Uh, but, you know, his attitude's good, working hard, and uh, did some good things yesterday in, in a little bit of a live situation. So, so he's, he's put some good things together for us. Uh, Jason's doing well. He's, he's, I tell him he's the toughest guy out there. I mean, he, he's consistent every day. You know what you're going to get. Uh, he's a great teams guy. And also, I think he's going to be able to help us uh, contribute as well in the backfield.